Good day everyone and welcome to day 275, turn 275 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We have two big pieces of news today. One, Persia has been revealed as the final Antiquity Age Civ. I say final because we can kind of assume there's 10, noting there is 30 total. And also there is no more coming soon on the Civ Game Guide page, as I'm sure you can see here on the screen. Uh, as there is for the expiration of modern age civs, there is still the coming soon tag, so that's it. You are now looking at the definitive list of civs that you'll be choosing from on the 11th of February. For what it's worth, Persia is an economic and militaristic civ, and across the board they are extremely aggressive. Uh, they get increased combat strength outside of their territory, they have got a, they've got a unique commander, the Immortal is back. Uh, on the whole, Persia is looking like a very scary neighbour. Uh, the other big piece here, semi-related, is the reveal of Xerxes as a leader. He's also got the militaristic and economic attributes, unless you're the other personality. He's more cultural. The King of Kings persona, he's got plus three combat strength outside of your territory and gets plus 100 culture and gold when capturing a settlement for the first time, once per age though. Uh, he also gets plus 10% gold in all settlements, doubled in settlements he didn't found, and gets plus one settlement per age. As for the other persona, he gets plus one trade route and 50 culture and 100 gold when you create a trade route or road, and plus one culture and gold on unique buildings and improvements. Both of those are once per age bonuses also. Bit of a quick one today, uh, and a bit of a rush. Anywho, that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, but until then, that's all I've got for you. Goodbye.